Our first act, sir. Uh, Todd Young. All right, our first act for tonight is a dance. Uh, Featuring yeah. the, uh, the dance club. And it's entitled Peaches and Cream. So at this time, we're going to invite out Tiana, Rebecca, Rashida, and Tushita. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Students to work 
uh, collaboratively with each other. Uh, inductive thinking helps them with creative thinking, helps them to think critically. Uh, and during the process, what they do is collect data, they manipulate the data, and they analyze the data. This one, here's Rebecca Davis from JFK University. She works with Mary Ashan in the fourth and fifth grade, and she's going to help lead some of this. She will be telling us a bit about what she has done for a period of eight weeks with literature. Rebecca. Thank you. We've been working uh, involving a lot of Cinderella stories, and I use this as a uh, thematic unit that uh, is very rich in integrated subjects. So we have done things in mathematics, graphing uh, favorite stories or graphing incidents and in stories. We have used it for comparing cultures and uh, expanding that to talk about our own cultures and the similarities and differences in our own classroom. So it's been a very rich unit. We started with the regular Cinderella story, the Peral Cinderella story that we're most familiar with, and then we went way back in time to Ye Shen, the ancient Chinese story that Cinderella evolved from. But we've also used many other Cinderella stories including the talking eggs from the south of the United States, which has the same motifs as a Cinderella story, and Cinderella stories such as the Egyptian Cinderella or Mufaro's Beautiful Daughters, which also have the same kind of motifs in it. We use those to, to compare stories and the heroines, the villains in the stories. Then we went on from the Cinderella stories to Beauty and the Beast, and uh, the, it's part of the Houghton Mifflin regular curriculum for fifth or, and sixth grade. And we read this story and there was, it was so rich in vocabulary that we decided to use the vocabulary and really build on that. So the students came up with their own um, books that they produced and they used the vocabulary words in in making their own uh, their own illustration to, to talk about the story of Beauty and the Beast. So in this one it says, the merchant was desolate. And then they use the, the vocabulary words in their own writing. So, and then illustrated that, to just talk about something from their own life using a vocabulary word in their own context. So uh, the next thing we did was view a part of the Disney version of Beauty and the Beast that most of them are familiar with to use as a comparison with the, the ancient tale and this tale. So today we're going to be working um, on character analysis using a Venn diagram. And they will be getting an envelope with each, for each team that has attributes in it. They've been working a lot on attributes. What are attributes? So for example, they would have something like trustworthy and have to decide which circle it goes in or if it connects with two characters or even all three characters. So uh, we will get a chance to see them actually do this activity. Very good. And that is another way of doing the inductive uh, thinking. A method. It, it's not always just linear. We can use a Venn diagram to do that. So Good morning, boys and girls. This morning I came in and I told you that we were going to be putting some information on a Venn diagram. And you said to me, what is a Venn diagram? So I'm going to show you a picture of one. Here it is. It has all of these wonderful, actually it's three circles, but they're interlocking circles. And what you will be doing is, you're going to take some information in this envelope that has been done by Ms. Davis. She collected all of this information called data. 
from the stories that you have been reading. And you're going to use the information in this envelope, look at it, work in the group cooperatively, and you're going to decide where should that information go? In which area should that information go? Is there something about it that's particular to only one area? One of the areas? Or do they share some of the attributes or some of the characteristics that are in here? We're going to work on this for about 10 minutes. So you need to assign a timekeeper for your group. Okay, somebody who is the timekeeper for your group. And you need to assign a person who is...